In this video we are playing Find the Candy. I will be showing you where all locations are, so if you're ready for a diabetic coma or a couple of cavities, please do sit back, relax and I will take you on this candy finding journey. So I've absolutely loved playing this game, I've loved the maps, um, it is a teleport based game um, so there's no kind of puzzles as such, the puzzles are to find all the teleports. Um, and I love the fact that the characters are not only so cute, um, but they're actually quite small, which is up the challenge um, elements of this game. I have had to be quite meticulous to ensure that not only do I find all the teleports, um, but I also find all the candies. So we're just making our way around spawn now. And we're just into our first teleport which is lump on this tree and this takes us through to the tree candy and as you can see this game has as much as i've enjoyed it it does have some little bugbears to deal with not that it ruins the fun um but you do have to put up with um the lag uh, and normally it's super unhelpful because it normally happens when you're jumping or trying to obby um, if you stand still it does render and it will go away and catch up with itself but unfortunately you do just have to put up with it in this game. I don't know if that's across all platforms but the lag certainly happened on my iPad very frequently throughout this game. The only other real annoyance this game is that kind of oops message that comes up when you collect a candy. Uh, it happened on every single candy but it will give you the badge don't worry. Moving on to the next teleport which is the mirror and I'm not going to lie, I missed that the first time I ran around here. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we've had to come back and hit that mirror and we get teleported. Um, some of the teleports are actually quite sneaky in this game, they're quite small or they're obvious stuff that you'd kind of just run past. So I do like the challenge element of actually trying to find the teleports. The worst one is probably the pink marshmallow and the toasted marshmallow. But don't worry folks, of course, I am here to show you where all of them are. So to get inside the kitchen, um, you need to be a certain level in this game. Um, the levels are shown on your little name bar above your head and you need to collect a certain amount of candies. So I'm currently level zero. And to open up the kitchen, we need to start the dog quest, which I will show you in a moment. I will, of course, show you all the different maps to this game. And there we have it. We have reached level one with 10 candies. So I will show you all the maps. Um, there are four of them to go through. And as with any of our videos, if you do get stuck or you can't quite follow where I've got one of the candies, please do drop me a comment. I will always try and help you the best that I can, obviously without seeing your screen. <laughs> And if you do like this video or any other video from Judgment TV, please do help support my channel um, and hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications and like and comment. So we've just done our first teleport which is the lily pad with the pink flower on it.
if you do fall in the water, you will oof back to the start. And there are loads of coins dotted around these maps. Um, I don't actually know what they buy. I never even looked into it. <laughs> so the arrows by the mushrooms on the target takes us through to Robin Hood candy. A pretty easy target to miss again, but one to bump into. But whilst we're going back to spawn now, we'll just pop to another area of the map. And this does look like Robin Hood's little camp. See that little pink candy there? That is the hardest teleport I've had to find in this game to go and get pink marshmallow. And round the back of the tree you'll see a marshmallow on a stick and we will get toasted marshmallow. That was so easy to miss. And the hint was literally something pink. <laughs> I love the marshmallows, they're so cute. They kind of remind me of like squishmallows, like the look of them. And we've got another target based um, teleport. This is through to the target. And you have to be bob on and get a bullseye, otherwise you have to start all over again and jump down. My target, my aim was bang on the first time, I'll just say. So that is the target there where Robin Hood was. So we'll just go back through the toadstools. I will show you in a bit um, but you will need a friend um, for some of the candies in this game either someone in the game who is on the same level as you or you're gonna have to get a friend there <laughs> because there's no way around it there's three teamwork candies in this game quite catch this one but a funky headbang dance and we've got it And it isn't really an overly big map, but it doesn't look empty. So this teleport is a game where you've got to pick the right mushroom. If you don't pick the right mushroom, you'll go back to the start. So just simply a process of elimination here. And of course, the more levels you go through, the more toadstools there is to bump into. However, on the end one, you will get teleported to go and get the mushroom candy. And you'll just see kind of this, how I've suffered the lag throughout this game, I do apologize. 
this one had a bit of a weird bug where I couldn't pick it up. It didn't matter what I did, I was like, give me the candy! <laughs> However, on a new server, I went back and I managed to go and get it. We are right next to the big tree. And by big tree, I mean that one there with the beehive. I know there's quite a few big trees in this map. I do love the attention to detail in this map. It's not big, but they chock it full of detail and kind of games and puzzles to play, teleport, obbies. And we've managed to get to level 2 now. So we are fast opening all of the other maps as we are going through the levels. So you can just see the next level there with the tunnel in the ground there. If I have missed something cool to purchase with the coins, if you want to drop a comment just to let other players know, I didn't really investigate. You can get up here by clicking on a random honey jar, can't quite remember where it is, um, or you can just climb up the beehive like I've shown you. Potato, potato, if you get up there one way or another, it still works. So this is the cave. We will need to come back here when we have level 4 as this is the gateway into the mountains which is another map that I will show you. Again suffering some lag with this game. It is mildly annoying, um, but please don't let it put you off this game. I have still very much enjoyed playing this game. And also, it's like your get out of jail free card. Like, if you're doing a video and you fall off because obviously, you know, not a lot of people are rookies like me at hobbies, but I lagged, yeah, I lagged and I fell off. <laughs> that is my excuse. If you see me fall off any of these hobbies, it's because I lagged in this game. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it.
our way up here we have our quest this is the dog quest so you need to talk to cloud um, and basically they've lost their dog and um, they've been looking the dog really loves steak and um, so we should find a steak first and then go and look somewhere where they've been hiding there's not much else that they tell you So whilst we are here we need to go across to kind of the left and jump on the top of the trees here. This is on top of the tree with like the platform, the ring around the middle of it. And now we're going to go back around the tree. I'm not going to lie, this is going to be the kind of longest adventure around this map. <laughs> there are quite a few series of hobbies and um, candies to collect on the way around here. I suppose it'll give you a lovely view of the map whilst we're running around. So in the higher levels of the map you will see the teleport you need to get to. So there is our steak just behind the bush. But we've come this far, I may as well finish the journey around the obby before we go and find the dog. So I was just waiting for the lag to go and as you can see it was super unhelpful that it happened right as I was jumping. And that was a serious bit of lag there. That's what I mean by saying it is kind of intermittent um, to the extent where it's that bad. Um, just stick with the game, um, it is worth it. I have still really enjoyed the game. But we have made it to the final platform and we have got small. So if 
we go back to the house and open the kitchen door and then we've got a lovely little script here of the dog running outside followed by Cloud and Cloud drops the dog candy for us. Now we have completed that quest we can go ahead to the kitchen but we're going to do the underground area first. There are some milestone candies to pick up. So we have 100,000, 250,000 and we're just waiting for the 500,000. But that 250k one has got me to level 3. So here is our first teamwork one and you do need two friends for this one. You need one on the left hand button and one on the right hand button and that will open up the door. So I've roped in my children using various different profiles for Judgment TV and we can get the triple candy. Are you at the dentist yet or are you still with me? If you are still with me, we are going to go underground now into the level 2. So there aren't that many candies down here. Um, so this will be a quick whistle stop tour around the underground zone. Considering how big the mountain area is and how big the kitchen is, this one does feel a little unfinished compared to those ones. Um, I think they could have done a lot more down here. I mean, for a start off, you could have just easily opened those tunnels up to have like an ant tunnel, an earthworm tunnel, a mole tunnel. I don't know who Star is, but they've got a potato in their roof. So you'll see a message come up on the right hand side. Um, one lovely feature of this game um, that I don't think I've seen in any other one of these types of games is they have a welfare notice come up saying, um, don't forget to have food and drink, um, which I think is a lovely touch of this game. It's so easy when you're playing these games to get engrossed and kind of forget about eating and drinking <laughs> and going to sleep, of course. And that's it for the underground and we are moving now through to the kitchen area. And you see what I'm saying about the difference between the underground zone now versus the kitchen. This one feels a lot more polished. There's a lot more candies here and a lot more to do. So this is our last quest in this game, which is to collect the melons. And there are five to collect. I do wish that they had some more uh, quests to this game because these were quite enjoyable breaks up the monotony of just trying to find candies and teleports. I do love these maps though and attention to detail is brilliant. And they definitely upped the game with the kind of obbies in this little area. There's a lot more kind of going on with the obbies in relation to kind of kill bricks uh, being included. So here you have to stay on the raised platforms. Yeah. 
One of my favourite breakfast items is a nice croissant. And there's a sneaky little platform to a veiled entrance to go and get the coffee. Because you can't have breakfast without coffee. And we found our second piece of watermelon underneath the table. The dog bowls were a bit glitchy and um, you can't touch the water but sometimes if you hit the wrong area of the dog bowl it then put you back to the start. But once you get inside the pet bed you get bread candy and another piece of melon behind. Just thinking about what's available in the UK alone would fill a game, let alone America and European and all over the world. Um, there's a wealth of sweets and candies available. Like, why not name the candies, the characters, after things that are available? This is where I get so close, I'm like, don't drop, don't drop, don't drop. <laughs> but we make it across to go and find pancakes. Again, this is another area where you can't touch the floor. And as you can see on the message on the right hand side, you can wear your candy as a pet. I find it a tad annoying sometimes when you've got things like floating behind you, so I don't equip the pets, but you can go ahead and pop on your favourite candy as a pet whilst you play. Or you can have bragging rights when you've found the hardest one, so everyone you've got the hardest ones. <laughs> Luckily that ice didn't seem too super slippy because we've managed to go around and get chocolate donut. There is a ladder by the kind of further wrong down the cabinets to get up here. I just thought whilst I can make a jump I will do.
Pine Spy with My Little Lion, there's a piece of melon down there. Jump on the handle to go and get pudding. Another piece of melon down behind the knife block. Jump inside the toaster and that will take us through to this teleport. So you just saw avocado sneakily hiding under a piece of toaster. Avocado, unless it's in kind of guacamole. <laughs> so we've just got to make it up the buttery toast hobby. This hobby I mean, may have been hard if the butter was Kilbrook. Just a little suggestion there if you want to be mean and make it harder. So we've jumped on one handle on the cabinet, we've now got to jump on the freezer handle. open them you can teleport to them going back to collect watermelon now we've finished the quest oh my gosh thank you so much for finding my precious melons <laughs> making our way through to the mountains now which will be our last map of this game at least until they do another update which I do hope that they will add some more maps to this game as I said I have enjoyed it if you've enjoyed this video or any other from judgment TV please help support the channel and hit that subscribe button This map we've now got the inclusion of licorice. Although, is that how you spell licorice? Or is it with a Q? I'm gonna have to go and Google how to spell licorice because that doesn't look right to me. I 
just googled it and yes licorice is spelt with a Q not with a C And what good is the mountains with all these crystals without some diamonds? So we found our first diamond which is pink. So we have a button in a minecart. So this is our second area where we're going to need some teamwork. And just like that my son has come to my rescue so one of you needs to stand in the kind of bucket on the button and the other one will appear appear here and yellow diamond is available in the minecart and don't forget to be nice and go and stand on the button for the other person just around the back there's kind of a dark area here is where you will find the black candy see there's the teamwork area there is where Black Candy is. In the mountains, if you have a kind of mine door, if it's not boarded up, that will take you to another mine door. So that one there takes us through to go and get Gold Candy. also have the inclusion of zip wires in this area as well which is a nice another little different touch to this map do you see why i say the underground one just feels so incomplete compared to the kitchen in this one And the eagle-eyed viewers out there will notice that my numbers and my levels go up and down. Um, I have found all of them. I am showing you where they all are. It's just I've ordered the video according to the kind of location. To try and make it a bit easier to follow for you rather than the order that I've found the candies in. I quite often play, just kind of go into the map without checking the index or the hints. Um, and then I end up kind of thinking, right, which ones now do I have to get? And I have to go back and try and find the ones that I've missed. So if you go in the water, it will take you to kind of different places around the map. You'll be somewhere near the location that you kind of plopped in the water, but you won't be exactly kind of directly above to where you were if that makes any sense <laughs> it made sense to me and that's the main thing <laughs>
is our third and more, <laughs> more complicated teamwork area. And this is for the rainbow licorice. So again, there are buttons on either side. What this does is the buttons open up the platform on the other side. So as soon as your kind of team player hits their button, it will open up the platform for you. But in the kind of right hand side players tunnel, you have the white licorice. And all I can look at is about that that's about wrong. <laughs> So again, I am calling the reinforcement of the Judgment TV household. Um, I did start off with my six-year-old son, but bless him, he kept dropping his mommy off the platform. <laughs> so I had to switch to daddy judge. Now these buttons can be temperamental. So you can see there that the button is depressed. Um, I didn't touch the iPad and I accidentally dropped uh, my son off the platform. Um, so just be mindful that actually you could be stood on them but suddenly they could rise and you might have to start the whole thing all over again. So here they're switching and I'm bringing in the reinforcements of Daddy Judge. So you can see there they're stepping on it but it's not depressing. But it's always like, are you sure? Are you sure it's depressed? Right, I'm going for it. <laughs> Don't you drop me off. <laughs> it's like, wait, wait. So when you think you've got a stable button press, then I will tell them to move forward. I've got the easier, <laughs> easier way through. <laughs> so now we have the kind of balance theme walkway, and that was the most flukiest button press ever. I would have been so upset if he would have dropped me there. But just to show you that the buttons are temperamental, so be careful. Someone was on my side then, and it didn't actually drop me. Although there was a screech for me of, what are you doing? Don't drop me now. <laughs> and this is why I have to laugh because Daddy Judge doesn't play on an iPad. He plays on his phone um, and he doesn't play Roblox very often. So for him, he takes a super age to do these. <laughs> he is a bit of a noob where Roblox is concerned. However, we have made it to the top. And I will be nice, I'm not going to leave him there. I will let him go and get rainbow licorice. And another kind of nice thing about this game is it has got the kind of marker where your friends are who have joined the game. I've not seen that in a game before, the actual, you know, the face marker where your friends are. That are some lovely touches to this game. That looks identical to Violet, but okay, we'll go with it.
And we've got a teleport with the bone. We need to go and get wolf candy. I was expecting it to be somewhere a bit more difficult, like up there. However, it's just put behind the rock here. Nearly got myself stuck. There is a very little cheeky candy hidden underneath this platform. For me, that's a super cheeky one. I only happened to go under there by chance. And we have the white diamond candy at the top there. So just climbing up to that platform where we got gold, you can easily just run down to the back and go through the minecart, go through the mine shaft. And we need to make our way round because we need this zip wire um, to go down and get the blue diamonds. There is the zip wire now. So you'll notice I've only been able to get 95. Um, that is because we have missed out on some of the limited ones, so it looks like there was a load of Easter ones that were uh, that were launched. It could be when Easter rolls back round again, they will be available. There are also two trophy ones, um, obviously I don't know if that's where the coins play in, but when you actually click on trophies it says they're temporarily disabled, so I won't be able to go ahead and get those ones either. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and see you real soon. Bye.